high school. <laughs> Uh, I've always wanted to uh, raise the roof, so um, can we all uh, raise the roof off the uh, generally accepted narrative framework uh, by the literary community in this joint? <laughs> uh, story, comma, uh, deconstruct it. Uh, footnote, I say comma because I never know... Uh, when commas come across when I'm speaking, uh, comma, and I like to use footnotes. Uh, setting my childhood home, Northeast Philadelphia, 1992. Um, although I guess you could also say here, uh, because A, it's, it's meta, uh, and B, uh, you're all now characters in a story of which um, you're being forced to, to listen for the next few minutes. Um, main characters, my mother, myself, and um, I guess you could also say all of you, uh, because A, uh, it's meta, and B, because you're all being forced to listen to it uh, for the next several minutes. Plot structure. <laughs> Annoyingly postmodernish meta narrative that tries to break down the component parts of a story uh, problem, comma, major. I had just had a hernia operation in 1992, and, and I wasn't allowed to go outside for a week, um, and I was driving my mother crazy running around the house. Problem, comma, minor. I've never developed fine or gross motor skills. <laughs> Problem, comma, seemingly minor, but ends up being major. I was wearing water shoes. Do you remember water shoes? <laughs> okay. Um, now, I need to take this time to step outside of the, the narrative house that I've built. Um, and can everyone smell that symbolic fresh air? <sighs> okay. Um, so I stepped outside of my house in 1992, um, and I was wearing water shoes. Um, and footnote, uh, A, I want you to notice how clever it was that I symbolically stepped out of the narrative framework, and I was also stepping outside of my house as a child. Now, uh, footnote B, I realize I'm not fooling anyone that this was all part of the framework in the first place. Um, and footnote C, um, I really like David Foster Wallace. Um, I'm sorry. So, uh, so the story. I, I start. Uh, I start running outside of my house for the first time in a week. No, I just had a hernia operation, and my mother let me go one day before I was allowed to go outside. And so I'm like running like a madman down a slightly curving downhill driveway and I have water shoes on and my arms are swinging wildly when all of a sudden instead of my foot landing on the ground my toe lands on the ground and I go flying forward and the first thing that hits the ground is my face <laughs> and my face doesn't just fall flat it like slides forward just a little bit on the concrete. <laughs> I don't have a great ending for this story, but I want you to think about what kind of things must have been running through my mother's mind driving me back to the doctor on that seventh day with a son whose face looked like a tomato pie. Addendum, uh, I realize now that that was an ending Although it's not, it's not really an ending anymore, because this addendum is the ending. Thank you.